how's it going everyone today i'm going to be opening up the artifact screen for kaching and even though i didn't walk away with i know for the second anniversary i've been kind of planning on what electro unit i can make use of with a lot of the artifacts that i grinded up for him now this video is going to be a little different than my other resin videos because with sino i actually was grinding a bunch of different domains because with sino i was grinding for a bunch of different artifacts not just a set one like i usually do for instance i was trying to get gilded dreams possibly for him and then also trying to get thundering fury and or thunder soother as well so i have a different selection of artifacts here and that'll depend on what build i use for kaching but it also gives me more options i feel like so that is going to be interesting kaching's never a character i really used i didn't even pull her until that long ago honestly and i'm really happy that i did because she is a cool unit and because she scales off of crit damage i'm hoping that i'll be able to have a pretty lenient time when it comes to the build similarly how i do with my characters like gone you all right since they brought back the primordial jade cutter and it being one of kaching's signature weapons i wanted to go ahead and summon for it and i feel like this is a perfect opportunity not only is it the second anniversary so i want to summon on the weapon banner i didn't summon on the weapon banner too heavily in the first year except for towards the end so i am close to pity i'm pretty much on 55 pity but i'm looking forward to it too because i feel like this is a good banner to summon on because if i do end up getting the weapon you know for sino's rerun when he comes out uh, even using it on like nylo or something it'd be really cool but being able to get a five star weapon that's really good for kaching would be amazing for this build I hope I get it, you know, and if I lose the 50-50, I didn't get it. Okay, so I ended up getting a 4-star, so I'm going to have to do some singles then. I'm going to get a 5-star from this banner regardless, uh, but, you know, if I do end up losing the 50-50 on this banner, then it's okay because I'll save my pity up for another banner, which is for a weapon that I actually really want as well. We got Heizu. Okay, I was expecting a weapon. We got a four-star character. You know, I'll take a Heizu dupe. That's pretty random, honestly. That's really random, but we'll take it. All right, so no five-star here, but I'm going to do another few summons here to see what I can get. Next single, five-star. Is it going to be a five-star? It is a five-star. There we go. All right, 68 pity, I believe. And it is the Wolf's Gravestone. Are you kidding me, dude? Really? I was really hoping I was going to get Primordial Jade. That's rough. So when it comes to the artifacts, I'm going to start with Thunder Soother first because I feel like I have better stats out of that set than I do with Thundering Fury. And I guess if I have to, if it goes down to it, I could use a two-piece with Gladiator and a two-piece with Thundering Fury. But I would rather try to have a four-piece set out of this. So let's see what I can make happen. All right, so this piece has the possibilities of being pretty good. I'm probably just going to feed in the flower that I already have. So it's kind of trash and I don't see how I would be using that one anyway. All right, let's see what the fourth roll is going to be. And is it going to roll good? Oh my gosh, crit damage went up quite a bit. All right, so we got an energy recharge and we got two rolls into crit damage. There we go. So it's already better than the other flower I have by far. All right, let's see what this roll is. And there we go. That's my first ever 30 crit damage piece on my account. Let's go. That defense roll sucks. The crit rate's pretty low, not gonna lie. But that is amazing. That's the that's my highest crit damage I've ever gotten. I've only ever gotten 28. So I was able to get a 36 crit value out of this piece. All right, a very strong start. Let's go ahead and move on to the feather. Like I said, I have some options. We're gonna focus on the ones with two crit values first and then we'll see what the rest offer all right let's see the rolls oh lots of defense and elemental mastery not a single roll went into crit rate or crit damage that sucks all right come on please crit damage and crit rate but we also got hp all right moment of truth and it landed crit damage let's go okay that's a piece that i will take honestly i i mean none of the rolls were really wasted uh, but if, if this was a four substat piece same with that flower oh my gosh can you imagine and the last one gives defense as well all right so we don't have any four substat ones it's either just going to rely on crit damage or crit rate which you know at this point i think Maybe some crit rate is needed, but we'll level it up and see which attack stands, I guess, is the best. And then worst case, come back to energy recharge later. So I'm going to focus this one first. First roll is going to be crit rate. Okay, we like that. Keep it coming. Hopefully, this will give me a very high crit rate value. Next roll. Ew, HP. Yeah, not, not what we're looking for there. All right, we'll keep it moving. And a defense roll. All right, so this piece is looking a little yucky. I guess I could do the last roll just to see what it'll be but otherwise it's not the best piece we've had obviously so far 
and it went into elemental mastery so yeah this sands is bad we're not gonna use that we're gonna just put that into another sands let's see if the energy recharge one we might have to just make do with an energy recharge one until we get another attack sands which shouldn't be too hard but just for now for the substats alone let's see can i get crit rate hp really that many rolls into hp dude these this the sands is killing me all right this one's my final hope here can you please please land crit rate please land crit rate all right it went in it went attack percent and crit rate okay that's not bad that's not bad we're making up for the attack that we lost with using an energy recharge so it's not horrible i'll take a little bit of crit rate if it can land one more crit rate i'll just use this one it went into hp all right so the sands i got pretty unlucky i'm not gonna lie but I didn't have too many options, really. I mean, more than I did with the other pieces, but still, I only have like three attacks. So I'll definitely switch this piece out. But with Thunder Soother, because you kind of need the four piece, I'm just going to make do with what I can. So the crit rate something we needed and the attack percent makes up for the rest. The energy recharge really is something you don't need on Kaching, though. Like, all right, so I want to level up this elemental mastery one to see what it could be. But as you can see, it landed attack percent and a tiny bit of crit rate. Elemental mastery is not bad on Kaching, especially if you're using her for an aggravate comp but then again you'd probably want to use thundering fury and the last roll is into attack percent okay so that's an interesting piece honestly <laughs> i'll just keep it around just in case but that's not what we're gonna be using i do have a crit rate circlet all right moving on to thundering fury now this set did get a big boost in version 3.0 with the dendro reactions that affect electro like hyper bloom aggravate and quicken which is good because i'm gonna be most likely using my kaching in a dendro electro comp so this would be better than thunder soother and having it as a thundering fury set would be nice so hopefully the rolls come through here and i do have quite a bit of flowers to start this off with all right let's see the rolls crit damage and i think a defense one of course it was that way come on crit damage yes let's go there we go a 20 crit damage piece so far come on crit rate oh defense percent that sucked all right let's roll this one crit damage and crit rate can it land oh 9.3 percent crit rate okay the defense roll though there is very unfortunate but you know i will take the crit rate that's not bad that is definitely not bad now we need a crit damage roll for this piece to be viable we need a crit damage roll here come on crit damage crit rate again okay so this piece is very high in crit rate but extremely low in crit damage All right, let's move on to feathers. I feel like this is the best feather I have. It has attack percent, crit rate for damage. The extra roll could be bad, but let's see what they give us. Come on, crit damage. Okay, now that HP and went into crit rate. All right, I'll take that last roll. Please go into crit damage because that's a pretty awful roll into crit damage. We need a higher roll here. And it went into crit rate. Wow, okay, so the crit rate and the crit damage are matching up. This is actually really weird. I'm getting high crit rate rolls on some of these pieces, but we need some crit damage. Unless I just end up using a crit damage circlet for sure, which it looks like it might come down to. Come on, crit rate. And it gave me attack percent. That's, a, that's not a bad crit damage though. Let's see if we can get it to go up two more times. Come on, crit damage all right honestly not horrible the energy recharge one though that one's kind of whack we're not really looking for that but i'll take the crit damage all right when it comes to sands you can use elemental mastery or attack on kaching now i do have two attack and one elemental mastery now this one does start out as a four substat but it doesn't have any crit rate let's start off with the elemental mastery one because it is a four substat at least maybe we could get a high crit damage that'd be cool elemental mastery would definitely make this build even better come on crit damage and one roll into crit damage the rest kind of trash to be honest i mean this could still be a good piece if that's a high roll so we'll roll it all right last roll crit damage let's go it was like kind of a low roll there though it could have went up just a little bit more but we'll take it it's it's not great but for an elemental mastery sands it could have been a lot worse too to be honest i mean we really didn't have too many options okay 
that crit rate though that changes things that changes things so the other stats not so great but this is an attack sand so i would be missing out on elemental mastery but that changes things and for circlets i actually have the largest amount of circlets that i've ever had in any of the resin videos i have crit rate crit rate crit damage crit rate crit damage and crit rate so lots of crit rate options but i would like to use a crit damage since we got some pretty high subsets on crit rate but we'll see which one is the best one come on crit rate hp all right that's whack so neither of the crit damage ones that are on set have crit rate with it which does suck i could always use an off piece for kaching here if i can get the others all right come on crit damage hp and defense that's rough that is rough it's very rough we'll see what the last roll is but if it's not crit damage we're gonna get rid of this piece come on crit damage and it went into defense again yep so we're gonna we're gonna get rid of this one all right last roll crit damage okay that's actually not like a horrible piece i will take it it's it's bare minimum this one's a four subset as well now if we could get a higher crit damage on this one that would be great we have a lot more chances with this i just needed to literally roll twice that's all i'm asking two rolls at the bare minimum starting from zero is that too hard to ask for come on crit damage come on crit damage all right all right with the attack percent and the flat attack that's not bad one more crit damage roll and this will be a pretty amazing circlet i have to say even so it's only like a little bit behind the other one so it's honestly a contender no the last one went into attack percent that sucks but this is still a pretty good piece so i'm probably gonna use this one even though it's literally 0.8 percent lower with crit damage all right it's time to take a look at all of the artifact sets that we've acquired throughout this video and see which one is the best and the one i'm going to be going along with also first up is the thunder soother set now this one actually had a lot of promise because the flower and the feather were actually not too bad especially the flower this had a 30 crit damage value on it which is my highest crit damage value piece which is really good and then the crit rate could have been a little higher instead of that defense roll but three crit rate it could have been worse you know to not have crit rate there at all so i will take it but that's a really good flower to start it off and i'm actually really happy with that piece the feather had crit damage of 18 and crit rate of 9 so that's not a bad piece also it's over 30 crit value so that's good and then when it comes to the sands is where things start to drop off i have an energy recharge sands with no crit damage on it, it does have a high attack percent but no crit damage a little bit of crit rate that's what's really holding this set back and then i have an attack goblet on here because i couldn't really make this set have enough crit rate with the electro damage goblet that i have and then i have a crit damage circlet seeing as i don't have any more crit rate ones that are good so this one is pretty as well and overall this set has 38 to 14 so the crit rate is very low if i would have got the primordial weapon for her i think that that would have impacted things a lot and it would have made this set a lot better but honestly thunder soother isn't something that's too crazy for her because you definitely want to take advantage of the reactions from other sets but it's not too bad i can definitely pass this set on to someone like fischl and it'll definitely benefit her a lot next up is the thundering fury set now this one had some really good potential and it is her best set honestly nowadays especially with the team i'm running because of the dendro boost that i'll be getting with hyper bloom quicken aggravate things of that nature and also decreasing her skill cd is not too bad but i didn't have the best of rates when it came to some of these pieces so for the flower i actually had a few flowers as you can see here and i think this is the one that i would rock it has 20 crit damage three crit rate because i am lacking in the crit damage department but i have some pretty solid ones this feather it was between either a crit damage one with some elements of mastery or a crit rate and crit damage boost which is pretty even here the sands i had elemental mastery or attack the attack had a lot of crit rate on it don't get me wrong but elemental mastery is better on kaching for this set anyway and the crit damage is definitely helpful there then i was able to use my one and only electro damage goblet that i have on this account it has crit damage but no crit rate making it not too solid and then i have two crit rate circlets this one i feel like is better just because it has a lot of crit damage well not too much but a lot of elemental mastery 
the energy recharge is not needed over this other one which has a high attack percent the crit damage is not really that much different and the elemental mastery comes in handy so if, again if i would have had her signature weapon this set would be so much better because i could have used a crit damage circlet and i would go ahead and switch that out and i would be able to boost this set by quite a bit or if i even just get some better sets on some of these artifacts and last but not least the two piece two piece set with thundering fury for the electro damage bonus and a 18 attack percent two piece set to give me that boost of damage and honestly this set is not too bad i wanted to go for the four piece i think thundering fury is still the best offer but this set has some actually good artifact subsets on it so i'm using the flower that i ended up getting very later on because it has such an amazing crit rate crit damage and elemental mastery sub stats there which is really good the feather that I'm using is the balanced crit rate crit damage one which offers plenty for me and then I'm using an attack sands instead of an elemental mastery one but it does offer me some really good crit damage and or crit rate also there and then I did go back to the attack goblet for this one because it balances out the crit rate and the crit damage and then finally the other piece of the shiminawas is the circle which has crit damage crit rate and a ton of elemental mastery and or attack this is honestly a really good circle and it, it makes this set even better and I'm able to get a whopping 50 210 crit value which is really really good obviously these stats are going to change but the crit rate would be a lot higher if I did have her weapon and honestly that would make this set just even better because I would have about 90 something crit rate and 200 crit damage but it's not a bad set the attack is at 2522 this is while using an attack weapon now it is important to remember that Kachin does offer a 15% crit rate boost when you use her ult through her passive so it does change the ratio for some of the sets but the thunder she'll have 53 and 214 as a value the thundering fury she'll have 65 and 170 and then for the two piece two piece set she'll have 67 to 12 and that also goes for the passive that sucrose offers with elemental mastery so in most instances i will actually have a lot more elemental mastery than what i presently start with all in all i think my kaching turned out very well built and although things could have went a little better like getting her signature weapon i was still well off and I think this was the best artifact video that I've done so far because I'm very happy with what I'm walking away with here. But yeah, let me know what you guys would switch out or what artifacts you guys are running on your Kaching. I'm interested in it, but let me know. I hope y'all enjoyed this. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.